to CBS 42 Weekend Morning News, listening to Layla, Eric Clapton. We're about to hear a story about a dog named Layla. That's why we're playing this song. Great way to introduce the segment. 10.08 on your Sunday morning. On September 1st, the state of Texas took a big step forward in making sure that people with disabilities are treated fairly. There are 55 million Americans with disabilities, so we take a look at living with disabilities in today's in-depth cover story. Round Rock resident Michael Abaticcio was born with a spinal injury. Simple tasks like getting out oh. the front door, turning on the lights, or picking up a dropped oh, item from the floor used step. to take an excruciatingly long time. That Not was until last much. May Give. when Layla came along. Oh, it's been going great, actually. I'm, I'm really having fun with her. Come on. Asshole, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right, good girl. Now, daily yeah. tasks like opening up the fridge are no longer a pain. Michael and Layla Oops. are learning what life is like together. See, I'm kind of shy, and people, like strangers come up to me and say, oh, I love your dog, talk about the dog and stuff, and I have to, like, oh, talk to them, and Layla helps me get out of my good sinus. Girl. If that's the word. <laughs> what are you? What are you looking for? What are you? What are you? She's trying to supposed to have um, her ear flap is supposed to be parallel with your leg. Um, I believe it's supposed to be parallel with a wheelchair um, wheel. Volunteer trainer Melissa Lester walks us through what it's like to teach a regular dog to become a canine companion. Good. Angela, up, right here, up, stay. Good girl. Angela's taught to not be Don't. lured in by those doggy toys, to not grab those doggy treats laid out in front of her. She's not supposed to eat off the floor at all. And that includes when they go to, we go to restaurants, it's very important. To stand at attention in PetSmart, where there's a world of distractions. So she's been to, you know, the movie theater with us. She's been, my other dog went to the opera with us. We go to restaurants, we go to the shopping mall, grocery store. Training a dog like Angela costs about $30,000 and takes more than a year. That's why the waiting list was so long, it was closed for a while. Only now, because of some generous funding by wealthy donors, has the waiting list shortened. But there's still a two-year wait. This toolbar is one that I have installed on my browser that will help me um, test some of the accessibility features on this page. Nobility Executive Director Sharon Rush is perusing websites looking for the good. Nobility's website is a place where you can learn how and why to make technology accessible. The bad and the very, very ugly. Oh, untitled. Include slash angle underscore index underscore memberligin underscore static dot jhtml. Sharon's task is to figure out which websites aren't accessible for people with disabilities and then to train the businesses to change those websites. It sounds complicated, but it's really rather simple. Here's how it works. When a blind person or someone with any physical disability logs onto a website like our KITV.com, they have what's called a screen reader. It reads everything on the screen. So the screen reader would read, welcome to KITV.com, view featured news links. It would continue on like that. However, if the website is improperly coded, the screen reader gets garbled. 45 minus 1,753,410. Featured stores. Bullet. Apparel and accessories. It's impossible information to follow, making the website difficult to navigate. Most people don't sit down to create a website and say, well, I'm going to lock out all the blind people or I'm going to lock out all the people with mobility impairments. But in fact, that's what their design choices can do. September 1st, it became illegal for the state of Texas to do business with any business that has an inaccessible website. And earlier this month, a White Cane Day march was held at the state capitol. It's a traditional day started 41 years ago by President Lyndon Johnson to encourage Americans to be considerate and safety-minded of the blind. People just need to understand that a physical disability has nothing to do with a mental disability. Like it has nothing to do with what I'm thinking. I'm thinking just like you. From a white cane rally to a service dog to accessible websites, these are all ways your neighbors are working to make our world a more manageable place for people with disabilities. <laughs> Another interesting number here, there are 25,000 visually impaired residents of Travis and Williamson counties. One in four people will become disabled at some point in time in their lives.